grab it here. Got a new tool for the shop. Um, this is a air pump with a um, piston compressor. And the reason I got this is that I do have a bigger compressor, but um, the location it is in now, it's making it harder to um, move around the house to do smaller things. Just to blow out some specific thing or fill a tire or something. So then I thought I'd um, give this a try. So, I mean, the, this of course can't um, power air powered tools. This is not that kind of a compressor. This is this is more like I said for those kind of use cases. You need to fill a car tire or, or a ball or or you need to um, blow dust out of things. So um, it can go up to eight bars, so you can actually get pressure out of this if you need only only pressure but not volume 1100 watts about 180 liters per minute so we'll, see, we'll actually put it to a bit of a test and um, see what it can do in practice and then um, also I'm very interested in how that noisy is this getting is it possible to use inside the house the um, larger compressor I had I actually temporarily ran also in the house when I was using it now that I can say that that makes too much noise Inside the house, so okay. So it comes with it comes with a set of accessories, and then basically they say that one should only run it with those accessories. Now, this box when I bought it, it was um, the last one they had, so we're going to have to hope that the accessories are are still in there. say I can go and complain if, the, if they don't exist. But anyway, it's got this kind of container in the end, the hard wire. Um, right, which is actually quite a good idea. So you can actually store that in there and then optionally have the most commonly used accessory. And then you can just put it in there. So that's actually nice. And then it's got um, the on and off button here. And um, then on this side, it's actually got the main lead, and this is actually quite long. <coughs> you shouldn't have a problem finding from a length perspective to see that it's long enough to uh, reach the outlet. Okay, now well, here we see that it's probably not something one wants to run inside. It looks like <laughs> even louder than the. <laughs> Or approximately the same level of noise. Okay, so didn't fit that use case. But we'll see. We'll we'll give it a try. We'll we'll run it and um, we'll run it in here and and see actually how it is. And then it's got an accessory pocket here, and this is where I'm a little bit concerned that they um, they won't actually exist. Hey, well that's not that bad. It's got the you know, normal accessories where you can just, in, you know, for adapters so you can use to inflate stuff. But it hasn't got one of the um, spurt guns or you know, on, on off type. So then you have to use the on off suits. But I actually have one of those. So, yeah. Or one can actually just control it from here. I like said so put it on and off. But that's good to have them the packets there. So the idea is that you can just carry this around as a very compact unit and then you just plug it in wherever you need it. For, for, and, and then if one needs to run air tools or something more aggressive, then, then it's the, I'll, I'll use my main compressor. So anyway, um, let's, um, Yeah, that's the fact that this... Oh, there it does have the instruction. I missed that it was actually in the box. I was going to complain that it didn't come with the instructions. It actually does. I do think that one can use it without the instructions. But, um, oh, this is a very long lead. Just 
cut this label off. I'll just um, yeah, get some air air protection and close some doors, and then we can start it up. So anyway, um, it's got some padded feet, so you can actually lay it down. Keep it, uh, and then I'll now attach this uh, this accessory. Uh, let's see how much noise. I got a little bit of air air protection. I close some doors. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> Continuous run. I don't think there's much of our air air uh, reservoir in this thing. Okay, so that's the idea. So the one. Okay, so it works that way. So put that there, and then you can take accessory. Ah, okay, they're like combined also, so this, actually this one can, was packaged so it actually contains two. Filling balls, that's the... Anyway, let's take this one. And then they're supposed to be connected to this one here. So, so you need this, this is, yeah, so their idea is that this is the controlling pistol, so... say the um, the air power you get for the produce noise the ratio is that great <laughs> but I mean it, it'll it'll do for their um like small um, cleaning jobs so, so that will probably be okay for and then filling car tires let's see I'm actually gonna run it through a test of doing that and see if, see if it can actually actually top up a tire. So let's see if we can uh, get some more air into this tire. do the job, got it up to 2.3 bars, that's what it's supposed to be, so I suppose I can't really complain. 
So anyway, that was the um, yeah, brief unboxing, general overview, and a few usage examples. Uh, yeah. So if you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Um, if you want to have more of this kind of content, then consider subscribing. Merch is available. You can buy me a cup of coffee for the bother of making the video uh, if you feel like it. And um, merch is also available. Link in the description. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.